Hello everyone. Welcome to Sam IELTS YouTube channel. How are you all? I feel that you are seriously preparing for the IELTS exam and that's why you are landing this page. Right. So, today's topic is all about how to get band 8 plus in the IELTS speaking. So, what is the basic idea? Yes, I'm going to tell you certain words which are called as the adjectives. If you really use adjectives, then that would actually enhance your score multifold. So, what are these adjectives? Remember, adjectives are the descriptive words. Suppose, if you want to describe anything, you can actually use these words. So, I'm going to tell you few adjectives that can be used in the IELTS speaking exam where we can use the common word. So, you can actually replace the common word with the adjectives. Alright, without further delay, let's deep dive into the topic. Before getting into the topic, I want to tell you one thing. IELTS aspirants don't cram these adjectives. So, what is mean by cram? Cram means learn quickly. See, these adjectives you cannot learn quickly in a single day or in a day or two. One thing you need to understand, once you learn a set of adjectives, you need to take it down in a piece of paper, you need to read it again and again and over a period of time, these adjectives will be in hand in hand. So, what you have to do? Learn all these adjectives on a daily basis. That is the secret behind the IELTS speaking. Alright, so what are the common replaced words which is called as the adjectives? The first word I am going to discuss here is good. Because often we use the word good. Do you like this subject? Do you like this cake? Yes, it is good. So, instead of saying the word good again and again, you can actually use these words. So, take a piece of paper and note down these words. Effortless. A piece of cake. A breeze. Seamless. Yes. These are all the words that you can actually use to replace the word good. For example, the examiner is asking you the question. Do you like swimming? And you say, indeed, I prefer swimming because it is a piece of cake for me. So, piece of cake is an idiom or phrases or you can say that it is very good. I enjoy. So, instead of saying good, you can actually use these kind of words. Alright, so with this you can just understand the different words for the good. You take a note of it and practice by yourself. Let's move on to the next word. So the next word is difficult. Most of the students say me IELTS speaking exam is difficult. So I would rather give you certain words instead of replacing the word difficult. Challenging, grueling, a tall order. These are all some words that you can actually use instead of saying the word difficult. Is IL speaking difficult for you? Is IL speaking rolling for you? Is IL speaking a tall order for you? Yes. So these are all the alternative words that you can actually use to replace the word difficult. So learn these words. Use it in appropriate places so that the examiner will get stunned and give you marks. With this note, I'm just going to give you two additional words that you can actually use. Spot on. Spot on. S-P-O-T-O-N. Spot on. What do you mean by spot on? Spot on means good, which is great. Not even good. How was the movie? Indeed, the movie was a spot on. Spot on in the sense, it's great. So, instead of saying good, instead of saying great, you can use this word spot on. You can use the word nice also, which is a very common word. How was the movie? It was nice. It was spot on. So, did you find the difference? Yes. This is how the examiner will also find the difference between your answers and give you marks. Alright, with this note, I'm moving on to the next word. Alright, the next word is great. We already discussed the word spot on. So, I am going to give you few other words. What are those words? Outstanding, mind blowing, top notch. So, you can use these phrasal verbs instead of saying the word great. How was the series? It was top notch. How was the food? It was delicious and I felt out of the world. These are all the phrasal verbs 
that you can actually use to say great. So good, great, difficult. These are the very common words that you can actually use in the IELTS exam despite of the topic. The examiner may ask you questions in any topic and you can say good, bad as well as great. So what are you waiting for? Please take a piece of paper and note down all these words and then you can actually get into practice. Then for sure you are going to get 8 plus band in the IELTS speaking. So I am not going to stop this video. There are few more words coming for you. There are certain other words that you actually feel to express your views to the IELTS examiner. The word is bad. How was your experience? It was bad. So I am going to give you few other words to replace the word bad. Awful, terrible, shocking, a real letdown. Yes, you can use these words. How was your tour experience? In my opinion, I felt it was a real letdown, which means it was very bad, terrible, awful. Use these words to replace the word bad. That would actually give you a very good impression. In the IELTS speaking exam, especially in the part 3, your opinions will be asked. So in your opinion, you can say that very clearly you felt something wrong about this thing. So if you are able to say bad, instead of bad, you can actually use these kind of words. Correct. The other important word that I am going to discuss here is that important. Yes, this word plays a key role in the IELTS speaking exam. So instead of saying the important, you can use another word such as vital, significant, pivotal, key, key factor, crucial. So according to you, what do you feel about the electric cars? In my opinion, I felt the driving mechanism is crucial. Just for fun. In my opinion, it is actually great, outstanding. Okay, so I have just given an example to understand that you have to learn these words appropriately. That is the main motto. So I would prefer you to make the note of these kind of words. Just prepare daily and you will be get in hand and you can crack the IELTS exam with A plus band in the first exam. All right, so with this note, I'm just going to give you another set of words which is commonly used in the IELTS speaking exam. So what is the word? The word is beautiful. Instead of saying beautiful, you can use another set of words such as serene, splendid, magnificent, gorgeous. Yes, these are a few words that you can actually use to express the word beautiful. How was the tour that you went? I feel that it was outstanding. In fact, the valley views are breathtaking. You heard the word breathtaking. Yes, these are all some words that you can actually use instead to, of the word beautiful. So make a note of all these words. Good, bad, great, difficult, beautiful. These are all some common words that you can actually use. To replace these words, I have given you a set of words. Use these words. If you want any help related to the IELTS speaking exam, please visit www.samielts.in or our team WhatsApp number 9043140844 to book a free demo. Thank you. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this video. Also, follow us in the Instagram. There you will get a daily dosage of the IELTS tutorial. Thank you.